help because I know too much. I think if you're helps me. I mean, I need to know the truth about the show. Okay? Can a cast member come talk to me so I can discuss it? Okay? Do things here that make sense? I think the audience knows what's going on, but we don't. And I think I figure out the truth about the show. But I want to talk in private to the crew members about it before I... Because I don't want to spoil anything or ruin anything, you know? So... When you can, have a crew member come reach me, Bird, so we can discuss it, okay? I still want to be in this competition, but I don't want to do anything to, like, get me disqualified or whatever, you know? I just... I need to know some theories I have about the show, but I want to discuss with the crew first before I start blurting out loud. Okay? Okay. In the meantime, I'll write out all my theories about the show in my notebook because I think I know what's going on with the show. Okay? I just. I just need to allow these lots, so I know I'm not going crazy. That's the thing. Cool. Thank you. I'll, I'll write my thoughts in my notebook. Come in. I guess like earlier right today, I just ever since the computer uh, Josie started saying stuff, it's making me think things, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get like thoughts like I don't like um. So someone should be with you shortly. Cool. You just have to get the sleeping shifts and stuff. So when it gets to the night time, me and the other stagehand, we should sleep in shifts. Okay. And the producers are usually off site. So if you have any um, questions that I can't answer, I don't really feel comfortable answering them. Because okay. I, I can't, you know, I'm not sure what I can tell you. So, okay. um, but, uh, yeah, if you just bear with us. Cool. Um, and we'll be back with you shortly. Sorry, I just woke up now. I'm sorry. Oh. I know you guys are used to talking to Ben. He has more rapport with you guys. Yeah. And I know that, you know, there was some sort of situation. I know you'd probably rather talk to Ben, but I'm here. I'm Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Yeah. That's me. Um, yeah, what's, what's going on? Okay, uh, Andrew. Um, something I noticed, um, 
why why were there seven males initially and only five females? It's like a disproportionate number. Um, I mean, uh, to my understanding, it was just casted based on like, who was the most interesting. Um, In fact, I mean, this is something you don't know, but you were like a last minute fill in. Like a lot of these other people have been casted for months. Oh. Yeah, you got you got in because we were doing callbacks with people for you know months. Oh. And you were like the one that was last second because we had a dropout. Oh. I'm curious who was the dropout, like or like the type of person they were. Um, I don't even. We had more than one dropout, uh. but like there was one that was like, it was a girl actually. It was a girl. Uh. Um, there was a whole casting crisis because we lost two girls. Like two days before the show started, we were in panic mode. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah, and then we reached out to more like unconventional. Not as we looked through you, we saw like your acting reel and like the stuff you did. And we were like, sure, let's go okay. for a shot. But okay. yeah, the, is there a thing with the seven males or so? What what is the Is the specific like, question? I'm like, like, I'm not. It, I assume it was like be even or males and females. I, like, I think that's what shows shoot for, and I remember early on in pre-production, that's what we were shooting for, but we lost two girls. As I said, I mean, ideally it's like even, but I think like the goal is to have kind of just like a balance of, um, you know, there's gender's a spectrum. I believe that, and like, yeah. you know, some some males. Or something, but okay. What, yeah. what else is gonna? Is it just you say that the, you think the vibe is curly because that leads to my next question. Um, the sponsors. I noticed yeah. um, the names Dude Wipes. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mr. Some B right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude Wipes. Mr. Beast Chocolate, Manscaped. Dude, Mr. and Man. Those are all macho sounding verbs. Oh, it's mm -hmm. macho sounding names. To yeah. Dude Wipes, Mr. Beast, Manscaped. It's like male oriented yeah. type of language. Yeah, they're, um, I mean, I'll just be candid with you. They're really bad sponsors that we signed on with early. Like, these are, these sponsors are, um, have you seen Jeremy, like, mad while he's doing these? Yeah. It's because they're, like, bad sponsors. <laughs> they're, don't tell Dude Wipes I said that, but they're, they're junk. Um, okay. yeah, not all sponsorships are great. What, uh, if I'm, I mean, I see you have a list there, but could you just tell me, like, what the general sort of thing is? Like what, is, what is the like what are you concerned about I'm just I'm, um, I'm not up to speed I feel like this show is more focused on the men the male contestants yeah and almost with little to no importance to the female contestants like at all because why all do you the, say that the prize winners yeah. have all been male so far so for the edit we were just like just say Bert got oh. it you were oh. dancing harder Okay. That was really, that's how we made that decision. But what, I mean, what else? Um, Luke won the big screen TV with his pumpkin. You know, I felt like the, some of the females had better pumpkins. Yeah, I agree that Luke had a bad pumpkin. I don't know why Jeremy picked that one. Okay. But. And then um, the hottest people in, in the lineup thing. Yeah. Laurent won that for his nicely dressed outfit. Did he? I think he did. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't like uh, on duty for oh, that. Okay. And then, um. The scaring, um, uh, what's his face? The, the Halloween scare thing. Yeah. Um, I think um, uh, Ted won that one. Mm -hmm. For scaring the, um, Jeremy the most. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Do, you, do you mind if I get a water too? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, I saw they brought you one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just woke up. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Flavored? Yeah, I think so. It's flavored water? Yeah. I hate to seem like a picky diva, but I cannot drink that. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's disgusting.
bus. Me out, Ted, Ron, and um. So, um, so I guess the, the gist is like, yeah. every single prize that has been given away has been to male consistently. Mm -hmm. None of the women have won anything so far. And but what do you what do you think that means? Yeah, I guess is my question. The thing is like, dude wipes, Mr. Beast chocolate, Manscaped, male only prize winners, and notice that every single crew member is a man. There's no female crew members like at all. It's hard to find girls that are gonna stay up for 18 hours. <laughs> And then the prizes like um, big screen TV, BMW car. Mm -hmm. These are all things that a guy would want, not necessarily a woman would. And then like, okay, what else I wrote here? Um, well, I mean, everybody setting up the show is mostly guys. Yeah. And I mean, I guess some of the. I mean, I guess technically now I think about it, it's more likely that guys would source kind of male things. For the show, kind of realizing my bias right now. Is it? I mean, does the show? Are you saying the show doesn't feel like inclusive to women? It seems like it's entirely focused on the men. To the point where I wonder why we even have female contestants at all. Because that, that yeah. breaks my heart. I, I, I'm not trying to be real. I'm just this is like an observation. That's what I'm confused. Like, oh. like, um, do well, the girls feel that way? I, I don't know. I mean, like, Jesus Christ. Um, do you it, feel like production isn't paying enough attention to the women? Because that, like, um, I don't know if that's a blind spot I have because I'm, um, a queer I guess, man. no, I'm heteronormative oh, oh, okay. all the way. Yeah. Okay. No but, right. um, I'm, I'm trying to keep aware of my biases and, you know, uh, I, don't, I, just, uh, I mean, can I? Yeah. Also, at least we focus on scenes with male romance between me. Originally, I had some type of rom romance type of thing with yeah. me and, Ted, but then it shifted to me and Alex. And males are getting more focused than the women. Like when they're picking out, like saying the teams, they usually pick Alex and another man. Like um, was it? Simple? Man, I'll be honest, bro. I think you're right. I think um, I think we've been. I mean, just laying out what you said. Where I mean, how do the girls feel? I'm just looking at myself as as a man who's trying to make a fair show, but. Um, but that's what, like, I mean, it was like seven males, five females, I, all male yeah, winners. I don't want the girls to feel marginalized, if that's what, I mean, do you, do you think they're scared to tell us that they feel ignored? I was actually starting to suspect that, like, all the female contestants, or at least most of them, are actually crew members in disguise. Oh. But because, like, um, um, yeah, um, no. So every contestant here is an actual contestant? Dude, you have my word okay. on that. No, um, look, I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I. I, I want to. I want to step into this carefully. Yeah. But um. How do I say this? Um. You. I mean, just based on the fact that you've said it out loud, I'll bring it up. Um. You have kind. Of, you. You have like a paranoid. Um, how do I say it, man? I don't want to. Do you do you have schizophrenia? Um, I I was. Um, I don't. I don't want to. In two thousand eight. Here's the thing. I don't. I really don't want to. Um, yeah. Make that sound like something that's belittling you. Oh, uh, uh, I, yeah. that's for real. Yeah. That's not. That is not my intent. I just want. If you if you feel like you're surrounded by girls that are actors, that's like. I really don't want to make you feel that way. Oh, no, no, I was wondering, like, because I know that they said there's going to be plot twists and, and yeah. stuff. That's what I was wondering. That's not a plot twist. Okay. No. The plot twist is, like, funny, like, guess what? The immunity is actually this. Or, like, I'm trying to make a clean show here. That's oh. why when you bring up this stuff and saying, you know, the, the girls yeah. might feel excluded, mm -hmm. I want to take that seriously. Okay. 
I'm gonna take my bias as a man and try to apply that. But I, I'm sorry. I, I, how long did you talk with the girls? Um, you thought uh, the girls were actors, or like maybe like one or two. I don't know. The ones who, like I was saying, when it came to this house the first time, there were two women here. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna um, just grab my water. Okay. I think it was Alexis and uh, Mizzy. Yeah. I think there were two women here first. Yeah. And I think Laurent was here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I noticed that all three are like either female or female um, acting in a way. Yeah. Um, and I was the only like, I guess, cisgender masculine male to for first appear. So when I was wondering, were they already here because they were already part of the crew? Yeah, man, that's that's not it. I was just, I I gotta be real with you. Um, yeah. I hope I didn't offend you by bringing up the schizophrenia thing. Um, uh, did, it, did was that crossing a line or anything? But no, it's, it's it's valid. I mean, I just I, I, I just want to ask you, um, based on your experience in your life, has there ever been a time that you've been wrong before? Like, have you been wrong about something like this? Well, the thing is, like. I've never been on anything like this before, but like, yeah, I know this is intense. Like, an, an AI computer thing that can tell my heart rate, my blood pressure, my dilate, if I dilate pupils, my breathing yeah. rate. I'm like, how's it know all this stuff? Oh, I'm well, like, that's an okay, just to be clear. Yeah, the AI is smart, mm -hmm. but it's not that smart. Part of it is like jokey humor, so some things are like, I wouldn't take it so, so seriously. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's it doesn't know like everything about you. So this stuff is saying that it's, it's so it's it's learned it has learned from watching you guys okay that's how it learns but as far as like your breathing pattern I, the, I mean I overheard one that said some person has an 89.21% chance of winning it's, yeah. it's like be, it's it's like um, it's like dialogue that sounds robotic it's like be -boop -boop -bop, you have a 92 point it, that that's supposed to read as like a humor. That that's supposed to read as a joke. Okay. Like sometimes it'll say stuff that's true. Like it's been watching you guys. It like knows stuff about you. It's smart. Like it is super smart. But some things, it needs like a context warning. Like or maybe like a slash J like for joke. Mm -hmm. Like when a message comes through, it could be like joke, and then it says the joke. Okay, then but I don't want you misinterpreting certain things as super serious. Okay. It is it is smart. Like it has scared me. Okay, yeah. like it is cool. It's really cool. It's advanced, but it's not. I mean, the same thing. Um, have you ever used like Chat GPT? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, you know, like you can break it. Yeah. If 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 you say certain things, or if you ask it to do something, it's like you can look at it and realize, okay, this is actually kind of dumb. You know what I mean? You know, the hallucinations, I think. Yeah. I think that's what they call when it makes, like, it, it makes it intelligent sounding arguments, but it's complete fucking nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, that, that's, I guess that's the crux of my argument is, um, okay. is it, like, um, have you been, have you been wrong about something like this before? Like something that's not what it seems? Or not yeah, yeah. Or something else? Things are like, they end up being simpler than they seem. Because um, I like this, I'll tell you what. What I see when I read this stuff here, I see the reality of this is it's a bunch of guys who are making a show, yeah. and guys are like they can't help but be a little stupid. And um, as far as the challenges, um, we probably need to have more female-centric challenges. Yeah. And a lot of the sponsors that were secured like months ago, first of all, they suck. Yeah. Um, they don't pay well, whatever. You gotta keep the lights on. Okay. But I could see, I could see how you think this is male yeah. oriented. No, I get it. Yeah. And that's like, and that's productions. Uh, oh. Like we need to give more stage time to the girl. Yeah. Check our biases. Okay. Like that's that's all true. But as far as like all the girls being actors, that is not true. Okay. They're contestants. Okay. Yeah. That um, another thing. I, what is it? Yeah. Um, Luke. Yeah, what's up with Luke? Was he, and I was wondering, an actor created 
it, that was hard to call strong among us. He was a safety threat. What do you mean? Uh, the banging of the pans and, yeah. um, I mean, the real reason, he was on thin ice after he grabbed. Symbol. Symbol. Yeah. yeah the, we can't. And that was gone over early on, like, we can't escalate and get physical. Okay. So we're trying to keep everybody safe. So after he did that, it's like, well, he has this like nicotine. He's coming off of nicotine and this and that. So we're like, maybe just watch him for a minute. Then he went down production stairs. He went, he left the game. And if I, you know, if production lets someone like open the door and walk out, we have to enforce the rules. Okay. He broke two rules. He touched somebody and he left the game. Okay. And I don't know what was going on with him, the stress. These oh. shows are not, dude, they're not easy. Wow. Yeah. So, that no, was, no fault to him. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. So that was all real? Yeah. That was him, that was him doing all that shit crazy. I think he was just trying to be interesting and like, on oh. shows, like sometimes somebody will like, I'm gonna wake everybody up. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I thought that was like stage or something. No. Or, or like maybe the AI told him to do that stuff and he was following it. No, it wasn't on yet. I wasn't turned on yet. Oh, okay. Well, that's even more disturbing. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, some people, he had this kind of macho bravado. Yeah. And he was very much like a straight, strong man, you know. Yeah. No, it's fine. You can be a white male. You can be a strong guy. But he had this sort of, um, like he had something to prove. Mm -hmm. And that's okay if he kept it within the rules of the game. Okay. I respect Luke as a competitor. I think he could have gone far, yeah. but he broke the rules. And if I don't enforce the rules on somebody who breaks them, then okay. like it's unfair to you, or it's unfair to Lizzie, or it's unfair to Laurent. He admitted some stuff to me, um, yeah. which I found confusing. He said he made up the whole cigarette addiction thing, that it wasn't true. They just said, made that up just like to give himself a possible excuse for his weird behavior. I saw that footage and that's why I felt betrayed. And oh. that's why I didn't feel bad about telling him yeah. that he's gotta go. Okay. Because he told us the same thing. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And that's why, and I felt like an idiot, frankly. I felt oh. like an idiot. Wow. Because. Okay. <laughs> you guys were unsafe. Because somebody lied to me about a cigarette addiction. Sorry. And then he admits to it like it's a big lie, and then... I don't know, man. I don't want to lose my job over some... Sorry. Sorry, man. Um, yeah, man, he lied to me, too. And then... I should have kicked him out the moment he put his hands on the symbol. That was unacceptable. Yeah, I did wonder that. Which made me think that he was probably an actor. That's because I figured if it was a real contestant, he would have been disqualified immediately. That's what made me concerned. No, we were just idiots, man. Okay. But. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Uh, I've never even talked to me before. I'm crying in a confessional to you. I feel embarrassed. Dude, it's fine. No judgment at all. I'm just, I'm just, I appreciate you clarifying some stuff about me that I was wondering. Um, okay. I guess the, uh, probably like the last few things I wondered. Um, the, the, the producers are, or the crew, or whatever, it seems to be more focused on like the, um, budding, like, romance between me and, um, uh, Alex. Alex. Oh, you went out? Me, me and Alex, yeah. Yeah. Um, to the point where I was like, I'm wondering, is it, does it have significance to the show about the romance between the characters, the, the contestants? Um, like the, you're saying, if you repeat the question, I'm sorry. Um, I feel like the, the filming crew seems to be more focused on the bromance between me and my male Contestants, particularly versus with um with uh Ted, and then um then it moves on to me and um, and Alex. Did he, didn't Ted say Ted said no? Right? Yeah, he he said he wasn't. They we follow wherever the romance. Oh okay. Kind of leads. Okay. Right. I mean, yeah. he's, 
Didn't you say, um, can you say you liked Alex? Yeah, I, I do. Genuinely. Yeah. Well, there's no, the girls are all, the girls aren't really interested. Oh, in each, each other? Or in the men? More in the, in the men. Oh, that's interesting. We've kind of asked. Oh. We asked some of the girls, like, is it? Find nothing there. Oh, I think, no, I thought, well, that's what I was also wondering. I thought maybe the females might be, um, crew members because they seem to be attracted to the, um, cameramen, particularly, like, um, what's his name? Uh, I think Ben, Vance, and um, uh, what's that guy's name? Luca. The female contestants seem like to, they seem to be more attracted to the crew members to put on suspecting um, that they were actually crew members themselves. Bird, I, I don't. I think um, I think you feel like nervous or. Okay. I think you. I think you just feel suspicious. I guess because like um. Like I think you feel. Are you looking for, like, what are you looking for is my question. I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the purpose of this whole, um, show? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh -huh. I understand it's famous well, house the, to get famous, but, like... Well, it's like a, I mean, it's a reality show, you know? Yeah. People vote, they have fun, and, um, mm -hmm. there's good moments. Like, I'm very proud of what we shot so far. Yeah. Um, is it high art? I mean... It's to the boulder. I, I love you guys. I think that what we're shooting is a, we're having a really good time. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I mean, that's what I want the story to be is kind of like, you know, the person who fights the hardest gets the 50K. Mm -hmm. They get, and then like an after show success story. Because yeah. then that's like a good way to get Famous. renewed oh. well, for renewed for like another season. It's oh. like, well, the winner went on to like get a movie. Or okay. maybe they become like a streamer, or I don't know. I just want to see somebody like shine after they get the fifty. Okay. That's what I like. I just want to see the best star okay. kind of rise, and that's what I'm excited for. I mean, that's the point for me. Okay. I want to see like good competitions and good fights and like cool stories, and try to keep it kind of like based in reality. Like, don't. Okay. There's been a couple times we've been writing scenes and we're up, you know, we're like, nah, it's too. But like, wait for like you guys to say something, yeah. and then like, all right, then we'll come up and film. Okay. Kind of like that. That's what I. That's like. Uh, that's what famous house means to me. I want. I want to see like. A real fighter win. Okay. It's gonna be cool. Okay. Um, I guess like a couple other things. Yeah. When they're like picking teams, like selecting team members, it's usually mm -hmm. two male team leaders. I don't think they ever chose a female to be one of the team leaders. I um. I mean that adds into the. The yeah. male. Yeah. And, is um, this something we probably need to have like a meeting with the girls about? Possibly. Yeah. Do they feel this way? I mean, I don't, I don't know if they feel this way. Um, uh, I don't know. It's like, I know that there's times where like they ask um, one of the contestants to do like a big speech mm -hmm. or something. So far, it's only the men been asked to do speeches. Like um, me with my firefighter thing, and then I'm um, with um, uh, Sybil with his speech, and then with um, um, Ted and his speech mm -hmm. and then uh, uh alex and i think he said some stuff too i, I don't i don't recall any female saying anything um that's valid that's valid for sure okay yeah that's valid so that's so like i guess with all are this you, are you saying that it's we just need to like the point you're making we just need to focus more on the women i i feel like that will probably make it more balanced yeah because i was like wondering like why does everything seem to be so male focused? And if it is male focused, like, then what's the point of female contestants? So, probably, like, are they actually, like, um, crew members in disguise trying to, like, no, Bert. Okay. No. I thought it was like, I, mean, I was trying to think if it was like a plot twist or something. No. Okay. What, what would the plot twist be? I don't know, like, they're, they're secretly observing us while interacting with us without us knowing. Like, they're talking to the audience, like, the, they, the audience knows what's going on, but we don't, the men don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know, like... Like, it's a social experiment on men and women? Is that kind of what you... I felt like it, because, like, um, the male-oriented, um, sponsors, the male-oriented, um, prizes, the male prize winners, the male crew members... I'll put it this way. Yeah. The things that you list there mm -hmm. is just us down there needing to get better. 
Like, that's what I'm seeing. Uh -huh. I'm seeing, frankly, a, a systematic pattern mm -hmm. of us not giving the girls a better stage. Okay. Because it's, I mean, I'll be honest, it's guys coming up with challenges, it's male writers. Yeah. Pre-production, the guys who, the guy, I know him, Will, who set this up, his wife's. He has the sponsors. He knows the guy with the sponsor. Like it's just guys working on it. Okay. Is that you know what I mean? And if guys, if it's like all guys working on something, we have blind spots. Like that's bad. Straight up. Yeah. My fault. Like, and I'm glad that you're coming to me as a man and telling me because I would feel like really embarrassed if a girl was like, hey, reading that same list, I would feel like an idiot. Oh. Okay. So I need to thank you because this is stuff that I can. Oh, you, you can keep this if you like. Really? Yeah. I, I'll just... Okay. Yeah. If you want, you can... I'll make a copy or, or whatever. Oh, yeah, a copy would be great if you can. Okay. But I can show this to the guys and show them, like... Uh, because there have been ads... Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. The books, almost all of them, are from male authors on themes that probably appeal to men. Yeah. Um, that, that was me. Oh, oh okay. That was me. Um, we were, uh, we were stocking the house last oh. second. Okay. And I thought it would be funny because we were at like this antique shop. I thought it would be funny to get books with like corny dramatic titles only. Because oh, okay. I talked to the guy at the counter and uh, I was like, I was like, I need a bunch of books for a bookshelf. They're expensive. He has books back there. He said, mm -hmm. I was already getting so much other furniture, like this couch I got from there yeah. and like other stuff. I help stock the place, uh -huh. some of the decoration and stuff. I love interior deco. It's like awesome. Uh -huh. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was like, just fill up a bin and give them to you for free. They don't sell. They take up shelf space. Uh -huh. So instead of grabbing random books, I just grabbed, like, I want to make it look, like, mysterious. But it's just not. There's no mystery. It's just, like, a bunch of books uh -huh. with, like, dramatic names. And once again, it's because it appeals to males. Yeah. It's because a male did the work. Oh, okay. See what I mean? I did the work. If a girl did that job to interior decorate some of the stuff, which a girl did help with some of it, um... It wouldn't have been so male. Okay. That's why I need, we need like somebody, we need feminine energy, straight up. If we want the show to read balanced, okay. we need more feminine energy. That's what I'm reading. Here. Uh, well, actually, well, as we're talking, I actually realized more stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's a moose head in the uh, den, mm -hmm. pool table, darts, um, what else? And the gym. Um, guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Zen only has one treadmill with no other cardio equipment at all. I mean, women tend to use more cardio than men. Mm -hmm. There's no resistance bands, it's something that women would use. It just barbells and deadlifts and like, and um, dumbbells and like, and skateboards. And then there's a cock rooster in the t in the kitchen. Yeah. And um, uh, and like the decor in the bedroom three, it's dark gray bunk bed it's like a military male type of thing to the point where i was wondering this i don't think there's anything in this house could appeal to any female at all yeah that's what i was like wondering like is it male only and like the women are just like 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 uh crew members in, in disguise that's what i was wondering it was like i think look the first half of everything you said is that's real straight okay. up like we could do better for the girls and when the guys do the work, um, it comes off very male normative, like straight up, like the moose head, everything you listed. Yeah. True, 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 true. Like, th this show needs to appeal to women better. Yeah. And I feel embarrassed for that. But the girl thing about how they're actors, that, that doesn't fit into that. Okay. I think that's the part that you might be a little lost on. Okay. I'm just being honest. Okay. And I don't... Um, if, if at any point you feel like, mm. if you feel alarmed or like you don't, you aren't sure what's happening yeah. and, um, you just need clarification, yeah. um, let us know. I'm glad you like got the, you yeah. woke me up, frankly, <laughs> that's uh, fine. Okay. Like wake me up again. If this, if you need to talk again, okay. um, but that like. Do we agree where the line is? Like the, the male thing is like, yeah. and then also why it is that way okay. is not for like, that's not the point of the social experiment. Like reality shows are social experiments. Okay. This is 
Guys being guys, straight up. Okay. Because guys did a lot of the work okay. to make the show. Uh, um, yeah. But the line of like, all the women aren't real, that's that's not true. Uh, I felt like a plot twist, because like, I've never, been, I've never heard a reality show like this before where like, no. yeah, that's what I was wondering. And also, that would be very, I don't even know how somebody would pull that off. That would be. Yeah. Because I, that's what, at first I thought maybe Luke, with all his crazy behavior, was like, I don't know, like, because I'm thinking, like, you know, like, it just, you know, it just seems so weird to me as I don't know what was going on. And, um. Could you, could you read? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Could you read this one? Oh, it wasn't. Uh, I think. Oh, this. this ben one. Vance. I think um, your name, Andrew. Not, yeah, did know this one right here. And by the way, my nickname is Jet. You can call me whichever one. Okay. Number t number ten. I couldn't read it. Um, I was wondering if there is a trans or non-binary person in this mansion that I just don't know. Um. I'll be careful. I think I'll let you guys disclose gender identity to each other. Okay. But I mean, one, probably maybe. You know. The thing I was wondering is like seven males, five females. Unless maybe one of the males is um trans or non-binary or gender fluid. I think that would probably make more sense mm -hmm. than to have a disproportionate number of males to females. We're not looking at the exact number. Yeah, but was, oh yeah, it was just to, to us it wasn't a big deal that we got there's two more males than females, but mm -hmm. when, when you add up all the other male yeah, that's stuff, what, that's it what feels weighted. Yeah, like no, it feels weighted for sure. Yeah. And I don't think there's what. A... What do you think we could do quickly to fix this? Okay. Do you have any ideas? Like you live in this house, so you yeah. Know. The thing that concerns me is like, so far only the males have been chosen to be the big prize winners. Yeah. And only the males have been chosen to be the leaders of like team groups for activities. Next team group, both females. Will that help? Yeah. And um, only the males have been chosen to like give big speeches in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. None of the women have done that so far. Um, anything else I'm wondering? Um, Can I see that? Hold on. Yeah. Can I take notes? Sure. Can I, see, can I bear down on the note? Oh, I'll get it right. Oh yeah, sure. So, could you repeat that again? It was... Um, so far, absolutely no female contestants, no female winning any prizes at all. So maybe challenges that favor females, just to get it even. Yeah. I want fair challenges overall. Yeah. Some of them aren't my call, of course, yeah. but challenges that feel like, wow, let's catch up. Yeah. yeah. And, um, females, male, like, the males only, males only want to be chosen to be the team leaders, like Alex and, um, Sybil. Female team leaders. Yeah. Um, also, let's see. The the prizes, big screen TV, BMW car. Um, well, I think any girl would like a BMW car. Uh, but also, I think that was like a dude wipes promo. I don't think that was a. Yeah. I, I don't even know. Female prizes is the yeah. point, right? Yeah. Be prizes that appeal, appeal to girls. Yeah, I feel like big screen TVs and fancy cars are more of a bro thing. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. And what else? I'm thinking. Um, only males so far be given like big speeches to the to the group. Women's speeches. Yeah. Women's stories. Yeah. And um, as far as I'm aware, I don't know if there's any like male female romance or like chemistry on on the set. But we want to see that. I mean, I feel who like for women. Who do you think would? I think like like I think for the mind of a woman, a woman likes to see like a girl have a cute male love interest. Yeah. If Luke was if Luke was around, and wasn't such a psycho. It would have been him. But like, um, I guess me me and Alex can have our thing going on. Yeah. Um. Ted, I don't. I mean, he seems popular with girls, but I, I think he seems as more like a queer best friend type of vibe than necessarily like a hookup love interest. Well, that's vibe. fine. That's that's yeah. cool. But yeah, I uh, think there's kind of a void. Yeah. I mean, unless you, would you be interested in? I mean, I could. In that role. I mean, I could do like a um. I don't know, like a was it love triangle? One with a dude, one with a female. I I can work. You should be right. <laughs> yeah, I mean that would be interesting, like a uh, white male and a white female. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, be like a diverse. Like, okay, uh, all right. Sort of okay, okay. Um, just you, we men and women. Yeah. Men and women, and it shouldn't. So you think. I can do it. Yeah. I can work with this. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you feel better? Yeah, now that you've explained everything. Um, okay. No, I just, I don't want you, um, if you feel like, I want you to have a fair shot, man. If you feel like this again, just let us know. Okay. Uh, I was afraid to reveal it, like, on, on camera, like, to, yeah. in front of the crew, because I thought, like, that was, like, a spoiler, and it would, like, ruin it, and, like, possibly get myself kicked out for, like, figuring out the truth. There's, I mean, there's really, you really can't get kicked out for saying anything other than, like, some, like, Islamophobic slur, or, like, the F word, or anything that, you know, is too F far. Like, fuck. F oh, F -A oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I just, I just realized what you're saying. F A G <laughs> word. Okay. Um, yeah. that's really, I mean, you can, there's really no, like, um, thing that you could say that would get you off the show. Oh, I think Ted actually said the word fag several times. Like at least twice. But is he I thought he was on kind of the spectrum. So he can say it? Is that how it works? Um he says that he's never been with, to hook up with any boy before besides like girls before. Yeah. I feel like he um may have queer potential but is too afraid to fully go there yet. Mm -hmm. So he's kinda like sticking to the whole he's well, until straight. he does it maybe he shouldn't use the word. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Word. Can I take note of that? I yeah. promise I won't say it came from you. Oh, it's cool. And ELC's word retarded several he times. He does not say the R word. We told him not to say the R word. Oh. Twice. We told him to. Okay. I'll be talking to him. Okay. Because Simmons will kill me if he, if the show has to have bleeps. Oh. Oh. Okay, so when I say fuck, I should try to... No, no, that's... It's different. Oh, okay. Cool. People, when they hear bleep... Bleep with the starts with the F. It's not the same as fat bleep. Oh, uh, okay. bleep get. You know what I mean? Uh, so or N bleep. Like yeah. that's harsh. Yeah, that's um, not Alex good. before. Yeah. yeah. Um, I fear that now that Alex has stopped with the sleep, um, supplements, he's starting to regress back a little bit. Yeah, but that's who he is. Okay. That's what makes him him. And I guess he's, he's a wiry guy. You know. Because um, we prefer Alex often. When he was, when he had your sleep mode, he was down all day. Okay. If you notice. Yeah, oh yeah. He was pretty much asleep all day. Yeah. Um, um, you said the R word and the F word? Yeah. The F-A-G? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think that's part of like his unconscious vocabulary. Like he's not like, I don't think he's like truly an offensive person. He's just. It's, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not even. Nobody's gonna get. I don't want anybody to go home or something stupid. You know? okay. And there's nothing. And there's no grand reveal thing that like you don't have to worry about. I can't say a certain things. Don't. There's just not. It's just a game show. Okay. So, uh -huh. like I I think you've had a tense day. Okay. Um, but it's 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 all right. All right. And the girls are. I mean, they genuinely like when they're comforting you and like talking to you and trying to calm you down. It's not because they're like paid to do it. They're just good people. Oh, okay. For real. Uh, okay. They care about you. They really like you. Uh, this house is cool. There's a cool thing going on. Okay. For real. It's it's really something. Okay. Um, the thing I noticed is like when I was asking the computer lots of questions, all of a sudden the cameraman came in and started filming me. I thought he was gonna tell me to stop talking to it. No. But I didn't know what. So I just kept asking more questions, and then yeah. Um, Alexis came in, and then um. You can ask it whatever. Yeah. Um. I mean, cameramen just come in when someone's interesting. Uh -huh. But I think, I think, um, oh, I'm taking this like it's mine. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And this is also your phone. Oh, thank you. Because I'm, frankly, I need to go back to sleep. Oh, here we go. Um, no, 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 it's cool. I, I think, let's be realist. Would you agree that maybe sometimes you see patterns that aren't truly. We had read too much into stuff. Yeah. Normally, I would not do this, but because this is a reality show where things are not what it seems, I guess my mind's just a thinking. I said, like, you're lacking stimulus. Like, um, if people would be less, like, thoughtful and looking for stuff if, you know, they were watching TV or. Yeah, that's the thing. That's like, it's, it's, um, I know it's tough, but that is part of the game. I mean, mm -hmm. there's shows like Big Brother that, you know, they're cut off too. Mm -hmm. That's kind of something that were similar. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no stimulus can make you question. If, if you. Feel like you're seeing a, something that you're concerned about or like you're panicking mm -hmm. just just let us know we'll talk to you okay okay cool i'm curious what is the target audience of this show young like millennial okay mm -hmm. gosh yeah so like 
So, so basically everyone that's like younger than me, I'm 35. A little bit younger, yeah. Okay. So 30 to like maybe 20, 25, 30, oh. 22, 30. I'm not, I don't know the exact demographics, but I'm, I mean, we're aim, we want it to be like PG-13, like no super swear, but we want adult situations that are like very real. Okay. So a blend. I was wondering why I was the onboarding. I was wondering why I was the oldest person here. But I'm also curious about Alex's age because, like, he looks young. You but might like, not be the oldest person here. Oh, that's the real twist. Not really. Oh, uh, okay. I'm but that is something to look. If you want to look into a mystery, look into that. Well, Alex is. I didn't mean, tell you. I didn't tell you. Okay. Okay. It, it's suspicious to me, though. He seems to have so much life experience for someone that's supposed to be like in his mid twenties. So believe I'm actually suspicious. Like, is he in his mid like? I don't know, it's like he... If you want a mystery, I would get on that, because... <laughs> so that's it, uh, okay. If you just, I can't... Oh, okay, I understand. I, I can't say that, bro. Oh, okay. And I shouldn't have said that. Oh, it's cool, cool. I'm just, it's, that's what I was wondering, because, like... Like... He seems young, but yet... Mm -hmm. Doesn't... But yet... I feel like he's... I mean, I thought I was the oldest mature person, but I feel like he's actually... Ironically older than me in some way. That's just not super clear yet. I think maybe that's why I felt like more connected to him because like he's more of an mm -hmm. old like my age so to speak compared to like um uh Ted who's much younger than me yeah oh, that's what I was wondering I think most people in this house are late twenties or thirty yeah I mean people it is it is like a it's a mature cast I for see. sure oh, okay um, but people everybody here has like kind of a young soul oh okay but same thing with Alex like. Alex has a young soul. Huh. Pey uh, Peyton is literally young. What's the um, smack of the young soul for sure? Mm -hmm. um, I could talk all night. Yeah, she, she said um, she was 19. I kind of got up When I heard teen, I thought, whoa, and then yeah. back away. So, but she said 19. I was like, oh, okay. Was like, I didn't. That's a diverse cast, though. That's like a, if you were to take 12 when it started, but if you were to just reach your hand into America and grab 12 people, yeah. that's like, what we got here, everybody. Oh. We got people all over the spectrum, different races, age range. Like, I think it's a good cast. Oh, okay. it's a good cast. It's cool. I'm I gotta go. I, okay, if I was gonna do like a call me, they're okay. gonna get me at 10 o'clock. Wait, I'll wait. Oh, sure. If I was gonna do a bisexual love triangle with okay, me and Allison, the feet was female, would probably the one to do it with for the um, for boosting ratings. I can just like <laughs> order a little just for the ratings. <laughs> <laughs> that question caught me out off guard. Oh no. Um, hmm, that's a tough one. Probably. Hmm. Mizzy or. Uh, I, 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 yeah, Mizzy. Which one? Yeah, Mizzy for Mizzy? sure. Mizzy. Yeah. Okay. I would say Mizzy. I don't know if everyone agrees with me, but yeah, for sure, Mizzy. Okay. I think Mizzy would be the most interesting. Okay. Look into that. I don't. Okay, I don't want to like. Just tell you. It sounds like you were already thinking about it. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's not, I mean, I wonder that, but like, yeah. um, yeah, okay, I can make that. Good I can make it happen. Good night, man. Good talk. Thank you. Yeah.